What, what is your biggest professional regret, Erica? And it could be more than one personal as well. Regret's a strong word. Yeah. So. I don't have any. I think really? everything that's happened has happened in the way that it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. uh, even at the time when you feel disappointed or you think that it's a setback, um, it's usually a setup for something bigger. Okay. Um, so I, I think everything that has ever happened to me, if you know people mm -hmm. call it that, has been to get me to where I am um, okay. today and everything that continues, it just leads you to the next step. Mm -hmm. On the flip side of that, what is your biggest professional triumph? Again, it can be personal, more than one. Well, certainly um, receiving my appointment in 2009 and then my elections in 2010 and then just in 2014, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just been phenomenal. How does it work on a day out of the middle of nowhere you get appointed by the governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky? Why don't you let the viewer in on what happened that day? Well, there, you know, it's a process, and so sure. you're working on it. And, and bottom line, though, is uh, there is a selection committee mm -hmm. of all the applicants. That you submit your application. The committee selects three people, three individuals Jeez. that will be submitted to the governor for the appointment to okay. a judicial uh, opening. Uh, at the time, we had seven that were going to be open. Uh, the first appointment included three positions. Um, and so it was July 1st, 2009, and it was about 1230. I was at a board meeting, and I got a phone call. It was Justice Minton, Chief mm -hmm. Justice Minton from our Kentucky Supreme Court calling me to tell me that I had made the top three. Okay. Super excited because can't take that, right? That, that is a, a mark, that is a status, because that means hopefully you could get the next appointment, right? Not this one. I wasn't right. thinking about that current one. But the fact that I made top three would set me up for something down the road. Sure. So, um, but in the interim, there is a 30 to 60 day period the governor has in order to make an appointment once the committee has made the selection. So um, I leave the board meeting. I'm so excited. I go home. I get my matrix out. It's a big white board <laughs> of everybody's names and what I had to do if I got, yes, if yes. I got to this moment, this is what this white poster board was all about. And so I'm circling and jotting and, you know, I'm like, I got to get on it because there's a chance this could happen, right? So mm -hmm. I, I have no time to waste. So I'm at home sitting on the floor and I've got my poster board out. I called my husband, my mom and my sister and told them I made top three and everyone was super excited. And again, that's what we thought, that's where it went in for this mm -hmm. time. Uh, so about three o'clock, my phone rings and I see it's a Frankfurt number. And I'm so sad because right. I know what this is. You're calling to tell me that I didn't make top three. You're not mm -hmm. calling me for any other reason. And, or something, you know, some kind of a logistics or something. But I didn't think anything good could come of it because I just talked to the Chief Justice at 1230 and you're calling me at three something. Mm -hmm. So I answer to the phone and I'm disappointed with, in my tone and I'm, hello. And the other end says, uh, can I speak to Erica? Yeah. I said, this is she. He says, this is Adam Edelin. And I was like, hi, huh. Adam. And he says, I have the governor here Imagine and wanted that. to tell you that you received the appointment. And been to law school. I've done well, you know, it, I, I can handle myself. I've been in serious situations. And at that moment, all I could muster was to scream, a deafening scream, and then hang up the phone <laughs> um, on Adam and the governor. And that was, it. I didn't say thank you or anything. I just hung no. up the phone. And then I called my best friend who knew someone there to call her to tell her what happened, uh, that I think that I got the appointment and I think I just hung up on Adam oh and the governor. God. So she calls and confirmed and we laughed. And then I called my husband and I said, I got the appointment. And he said, an appointment to what? Like a doctor right, right. or something. Because he's, we guys no do, one's thinking, yeah, well, so, he's not yeah. thinking, you right. know, two and a half hours later, this happened because they ha the governor always takes, you know, days, months, weeks, something to, to have mm -hmm. this happen. But it didn't, and it was true. And it was July 1st, and it was super sunny outside. And my husband came home, and everybody was excited. And it's been the best day ever, um, yeah. one of the best days well, ever. Sure, sure, but sure. Um, best day, one of the best days ever. And there you, there you go.